Howdy, folks. Welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show. It's Drew, and it is time for my Cowboy Logic segment. And, you know, folks, what I want to talk about today, I, there's several terms that kind of refer to this one. I'm, I've always called it for many, many years, majoring on the minors. And that's where, you know, you've got a big problem, but you're. I, I, there's kind of a funny story about this. My wife doesn't necessarily like me to tell it, but when we first got our motorhome, we were traveling one time, and my water pump started going out. And I didn't want to be stranded on the side of the road. The bearings were going out, and, and it would still run, but it was leaking water. We were about 100 miles from home, and I had to, about every, I don't know, 20, 15, 20 miles, I had to stop, add water to the engine, to the radiator, so that I could keep driving. And I could tell, you could hear the thing squeaking some, and it was leaking. And so I would stop. Good news about having a motorhome is you have about everything that you need on it. So I just had a water hose, and I'd run back and... I'd fill up the radiator, and then I'd get going back on the road and get as far as I could before the engine started heating up, and then I'd pull over and do the same thing. So I was at about my third out of probably five times of having to pull over and do that, and my wife is just sitting back there on the table riding in the motorhome. She doesn't really know what's going on. I just told her, hey, our radiator's leaking. i got to try to get home. Water pump's going out. So at one point when I stop, and I'm dirty and sweaty, it's hot, and I jump back in the RV to get moving as quickly as I can so that I can make it home before hopefully this thing craps out, which I ended up making it. But anyway, as I get ready to start going again after filling it up, she goes, hey, wait, 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 before you get going. And I said, yeah, baby. And she goes, would you sharpen my eyebrow pencil? She was back there putting on her makeup, right? And I kind of looked at her with one of those looks like you a dog does when you whistle, you know, and I'm like, she goes, oh, is this not a good time? And I said, no, that, folks, that's kind of majoring on the minors. We find ourselves nowadays really majoring on the minors. I was literally, I'm in Kerrville, Texas. Now, let me tell you something. If you want to get the vaccination and you want to wear a mask, and if you believe they do something, frankly, people that believe vaccinations do something for them, and I'm not saying none of them ever work. I'm just talking about this crazy thing for COVID. Um, but if you want to do that, I support your right to go do it. And you can wear 35 masks if you want to. If you want to get a space suit. I highly encourage you to do that. I think it's your right to go and do that. If you can do it as crazy as it may seem to me, you ought to support my right to not do that if I choose to not do that as well. Because if your mask works and if your vaccine works, it's like I shouldn't ask if I don't want to get wet, I can carry an umbrella or I can put on a rain suit. I shouldn't have to have Bobby put on a rain suit or get an umbrella if I don't want to get wet. It doesn't make any sense. Okay, that defies logic. And so with all the things that we have going on in the world right now, and I mean, the economy is going to hell in a handbasket. There's a sack in that president up there that, I mean, it, it, what shocks me is that when they say 35% of people still strongly support Biden, I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't realize there was that many fools on the planet. I call a spade a spade, man. I always have. When, when George W. Bush was governor of Texas, I wasn't his biggest fan. He did some okay things. He did okay, I thought, as president, but I called a spade a spade, and when he did a bunch of the dumbass things that he did, I said, look, look at the dumbass things that he does. Trump was an ass. That was his biggest problem. If he had gotten over himself, people wouldn't have hated him the way that they did. Everybody's looking for something to be mad at. So we're out here majoring on the minors, and we're focusing on things that really don't matter a whole lot. I mean, you know, for me and my family, I'm sitting there watching grocery store shelves. It was hilarious when COVID first came out that everybody got toilet paper. Now, COVID is something that makes you sick, so you don't really eat, you don't really drink, so what do you need toilet paper for? But there was a big run on them, and we ran out of them. And so if you're doing anything, look at store shelves right now, the supply chain and you can decipher that in a way you go, well, the reason supply chain is working because there's so many people consuming right now that we don't, honey, folks, that's BS. That isn't the truth. But because the news said it, it's real. Everything on the internet is real. It goes both ways, folks. You know what? You ought to be able to kind of use your logic when you, when you have Biden go up there and say, hey, can you believe I stood here for two hours? And that's his claim to fame. He got a bunch of our soldiers killed in Afghanistan when his people told him not to do it. They've lied about every single thing that you can imagine. They talk about COVID and we need to do this, we need to do that. None of those things have come true. 
And yet we're sitting here worried. I'm literally in Kerrville, Texas. And there's a guy comes walking in. He's wearing one of his mascaleros as he has a right to do. But he said to me, where's your mask? And he said it under his breath. He's like a weasel. Where's your mask? I'm a weasel. Hey, where's your mask? Folks, get over it, man. Two things, okay? And this kind of pilots a whole lot what I do. I believe that there are higher beings somewhere, okay? And I believe that when we leave this earth, I believe if we've lived a relatively good life, we're going to go to a better place. And I'm not afraid of it. I've not been afraid to bungee jump. I've not been afraid to not get the vaccine. And I'm not afraid to not wear a mask. But I support your right to do it. By golly, if you want to do it, get after it. And like I said, get a space suit, man. See if Elon Musk will send you up in the next little roadster to Mars. You wouldn't survive, but you'd be out of here. So, folks, take a pause a little bit. Give your countrymen a break and quit majoring on the minors. Thanks for always tuning in to Wild Crypto Show. We'll see you back here next week. Thank you.